Hello everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome to 1213 Prescott Way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when we post another video. A video. A video. Oh, 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 video. Hello, 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 you guys. I'm just going to get right into it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank, thank you so much for joining me. I am hangry at this point. I've had a slice of toast this um, morning uh, with, cream, you know, my honey cinnamon cream cheese on it. And I haven't eaten anything since then. And it's after 7.30 p.m. Uh, because I was taking my braids down and doing other things. But so I am beyond hungry is what I am trying to tell you. So I am going to go ahead and get started. It is like... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So let me tell you what the tacos are. Yes, I have five of them. If I eat all of them, I do. But if I don't, I don't. So the two on the end, those are shrimp tacos. As you can see, the shrimp inside. And then the three in the middle are tuna tacos. Because I still had my tuna in there and I was like, well, I'll finish it up with some tacos. Hopefully. And if not, I'll just take it tomorrow. So anyway, let me do a thumbnail. Let me see. Gotta bite it, you guys. I'm so hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't even tell you what was in them. So I have lettuce, tomato, cheese, and cream, and um, sour cream. And that's cheddar cheese or Tex Mex. I can't remember. Mm. It is delicious. Um, mm. 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 How many of you love sour cream? To me, it has no flavor. But by itself. But when I eat it like this and I bite it, and it's all mixed in, it's good. It's like it brings out the other flavors or something. Mm -mm -mm. But cheers to you. This is delicious. I hope what you're eating is as good as mine. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um. Berry juice. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up, but last night we got like a warning that today was going to be iced over, and my girlfriend has sent it to me and said that the public services department, they were out there with their chains on their tires, and they said they were having a hard time. So they were suggesting that everything shut, you know, that you don't, if you don't have to go out, don't, because the um, roads are going to be slippery. And sure enough, was it this morning? Mm-hmm. This morning, I took the dogs out, but I stood, because it was pouring rain, I stood up under our awning, and... It was raining, 
and the chairs were out you know in the outside of the awning and it was froze it had ice on top with the water the grass had the water i mean and ice and the dogs were slipping everywhere that was delicious now i think i'm going to try but i think i want some more hot sauce now i'm going to try the tuna taco <clears throat> Let's see the tuna mm. Mm -mm -mm. and then then when I was starving. I also took out my seaweed wraps. I can never remember the name of them. That's what I call it. And put my rice and stuff on it. The rice and salmon. I'm like, girl, you are being greedy. Because <laughs> you're starving. Well, I'm sure you, I probably won't even need all of this. But back to what I was saying. So... After reading that about the weather, I went ahead and texted my manager yesterday evening about today. And then Walmart closed. They said, due to the weather conditions, we are closing. I was like, what? Now, if Walmart closes, you know something is up. That weather is very, very bad. Mm. Have you guys ever had a tuna taco? I'm telling you, it's delicious. Because, um, last night, I was saying to myself, I do not want any more bread. Um, you know, like a sandwich and stuff. So, but I wanted the tuna. And I was like, oh yeah, let me go ahead and have a tuna taco. Mm. But in this case, three. Mm. Yesterday, or last night, I was laying on the couch. Watching TV, and all of a sudden, my childhood friend popped in my head. I hadn't talked to her in several years, a few years, I should say. Could be several, maybe four. Um, and I said, "Call, call her." So I dialed the number. It rang. I was getting ready to leave a message because it rang several times. And then I hear, "Hello." Like that. And then she was like, Sarah. <laughs> and then I said her name. And she was like, girl. I was coming back from the restroom. Walking down the hallway. All of a sudden I heard my phone ring. And she said she looked and saw it was my name. And... We were on the phone for hours, reminiscing about when we were children. And what is so funny, <clears throat> I'll tell you this, there's a several funny stories. <laughs> we met when we were 12, and... We were very immature for our age when we were got into high school. We were still acting like those 12-year-olds. And we would always pick at each other. And the funny thing is, is I would do it first, but she would be the one to get caught when she did it back to me. One time we were on the bus headed to school, and 
we were sitting at the back of the bus, you know, messing around, horsing around. So then I grabbed her by the back of her head and smucked her down underneath the um, bus, the seats. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, we, we started laughing and then she grabbed me by the back of my head and did the same thing. The bus driver saw her and called her up and she had to sit up in front of the bus. So I was cracking up. So then another time we were in PE and we were doing fencing. So the fence, the um, fence, well, I don't, what are they called? The sword? I don't even know what it's called. He had like a silver tip at the end of it, I guess, so you won't hurt each other, that kind of thing. So I took the silver tip off of mine and I'm poking her, you know, as we're sitting there and the PE teacher, she's telling us about the um, sword thing, you know, giving us the safety tips and all that stuff. And I'm just poking her. And then I sit like this and started listening to the instructor. And then she started poking me back. And then they, the um, teacher looked and saw her excuse me, and then called her to the front and she had to run around the gym four times and then do push-ups because she got caught. And then I was cracking up again. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Um, I always forget about this, but she reminded me. I don't know if we were, what grade we were in? Seventh or eighth grade? Mm-mm. I think it was ninth grade. I don't know. But we were in PE, so I'm thinking it was ninth grade. And she had, I had on heels and she had on tennis shoes. So after PE, we're getting dressed and everything, and I grabbed her tennis shoe and put her, I, grab, I never forget, I grabbed her right tennis shoe, put it on, and then I had my heel. So she didn't have a choice but to wear the heel and the tennis shoe. <laughs> and she went to class, and they called her to the office. Next thing you know, I hear them calling me to the office. I mean, just dumb stuff, but a little childish stuff. Mm -mm. I mean, with boys and everything. I can just go on and on. With the things that we did. And guys, I'm afraid that I am almost finished. I did hit the spot, and I am satisfied. But are you guys still friends with your childhood friend? You know, this is something that had bothered me. I couldn't understand it. But when we lived in South Carolina, I was it was from age six to nine because we moved to Vegas when I was nine years old, like two months after I turned nine. And I had a friend who also lived on the base and she used to spend the night at our house. You know, we were friends and everything. And so I thought about her throughout the years after I had moved to Vegas and as adults. And then, you know, with the social media and everything, I decided to look for her. And I actually found her. And so I gave her my phone number or she gave me hers and then we talked. And do you know she could not remember me? That I could not believe because I'm like, we were the two that hung around each other. That was just weird to me. But I don't know. I was like, what happened to you? That you can't, you know, that you, do you block that part out? I don't know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I had taken out the taco sauce, but I don't know why, because I never use it. I will one day. But the question I was asking you before, 
Are you guys still friends with your childhood um, friends? Or did you leave them in your childhood? You know? I would say I talked to two of them that I've known since I moved to Vegas since I was nine. Well, one, because she was when I was 12. Mm. Woo. That was delicious. Mm -mm -mm. And I want to thank you guys so much for joining me and making this video for you. It was delicious. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when we post another video what's it a video what's it a vi 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 video oh 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 i know this look crazy as heck i i'm trying because i never wore one like this before that's why i have this band on I'm trying to do that melting thing and all that stuff so we'll see how it turns out hopefully it's cute because i have no other option i do not so you guys have a wonder, wonderful, wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, and or night. And I will see you on the next video. Love you.